Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my review of Punchline number one. So when I was a kid at was it Woolworths? <laughs> Do they even have that anymore? Um, oh my gosh! So uh, they would have these oversized coloring books that were actually comic books. They would tell a story, but you know it was oversized. And I loved and hated them because you know it would, they were a little bit more expensive. Well, they were you know quite more expensive than the regular coloring book but they were huge it was really cool um but the problem was to me that they were a story so i would always get in trouble because i would finish the coloring book in like one or two days and my mom would say you only colored like eight of the pages i'm like well all the other pages are just people talking to each other <laughs> what are you a fool i'm not gonna color that shit i'm gonna color batman and robin jumping through a skylight throwing batarangs at the Penguin and the Joker. That's what I'm going to color. So this comic is basically all of the pages that I didn't color in those oversized uh, comic books. Before we start, Impossible Stars, graphic novel, 1,847 backers, trying to get to 2,000 so I can green light the sequel, which has already been written. So um, I, uh, I really like this, even though I had to read it twice, because the first time through, I read it like I was in. <laughs> First or second grade, I skipped all the parts that were boring until I realized those, quote, boring parts were the entire point of the story. Uh, so as we saw in Batman 100, back up, Punchline was arrested for her crimes during, I'm sorry, alleged crimes during the Joker War, but she's quite savvy about <clears throat> social media. So she was able to get a significant amount of Gotham City, even in the wake of all the destruction of the Joker War, uh, to sympathize with her, to empathize with her. I always forget the difference. Um, so this is about <laughs> basically how she made that happen. And it looks like it's also setting up her own little carved out world within the Bat universe. You know, we're still going to see Batman, Joker and references, but it's she's got, you know, her own story, her own kind of supporting cast, which it looks like to be Leslie Tompkins and this uh these siblings, one of which is a superhero called Bluebird, who I have no idea is new or old. This is, this is all new to me. Um, so uh, we get to meet, uh, I forget her real name. <laughs> they said a real name, Punch Lion. Um, and uh, her origin is that she's just, you know, somebody, just another hostage. Uh, but then she kind of, she becomes obsessed with, <coughs> well, no, I was more than just a hostage this was destiny this was uh this was a sign and i've got to say having dealt with the mentally ill over the last couple of years of having this channel that is like the thing that's the thing that tells you someone's mentally ill that nothing is ever a pipe is never just a pipe everything is a sign everything is a plan everything is destiny or something nefarious there's no coincidences there's no random happenstance there's no things that are just on the surface there's always something beneath and that's that, that to me is the main sign of uh, mental illness uh which is you know she's not obviously like she's not like usually just babbling and crazy and incoherent but she does have uh problems so we get to see how she's you know uh, she meets the Joker the first time um, as a hostage, <coughs> and then how she becomes obsessed with him and really starts to investigate him and learn and understand him. And then she engineers, I don't know, we'll call it a meet cute <laughs> for the second time where she becomes, uh, I don't know. I, he doesn't have trusted people or confidants, but essentially a trusted uh, confidant. Uh, so it's uh, gearing up towards her... Um, hearing for her uh, sanity uh, or going into a criminal proceedings and uh, it's a uh, kind of awesome <laughs> I freaking loved it I'm trying to get to the part where I quit the first time because it was quote boring <laughs> this is great where she's like you know she's like I'm a victim of the Joker and she's explaining why and um, the arts by Mirka Andolfo who has like her own like industry over image it's really cool but she also has a quick style where she can do mainstream stuff she tried a quick style on 
what was that vertigo book uh, a year or two ago and that did not look good this looks good it, it looks good so we got this uh, siblings by the way i talked about how there's a rule that half of black women have to be lesbians in american comics these days <laughs> that seems to be the rule for siblings especially in the dc universe whenever they introduce a pair of siblings and, and they're going to be part of a book one of them <laughs> always is gay like always uh so this time it's the brother and he gets into the uh the podcast it's discovered that um punchline had a podcast um uh, and it becomes quite popular when she becomes uh famous so he kind of uh, falls into that these okay so these are the pages where i just noped out i was like i'm not reading all that but it's good you know um there's lots of kind of trite obvious cliche analysis of the joker and there's been different types of joker although the the three jokers tried to bring that all home. But I actually found um, her analysis insightful. It's funny. I, I was like, I was thinking about something. Um, and then I told uh, a friend and he goes, yeah, everyone knows that. I go, I don't think everyone knows that. I just think you don't want to admit that I'm insightful. What I was basically saying is that successful people, uh, successful men, uh, not, it's, uh, it's not 100%. But if they have siblings, they tend to have female siblings and male, but specifically because uh, sibling rivalry, when you have a family where it's just two boys, there's rivalry, but it's real dumb. One of them will jump. The other one will try to jump higher. One of them will talk to a parent. The other one will talk louder to take away attention. Like it's, it, it's a rivalry that doesn't really make you challenge or grow. But if you're a brother and you've got a sister and you jump high and she doesn't jump as high, everyone's like, well, you're a boy. You're, you're older than her, plus you're larger than her. So you kind of have sibling rivalry in a different way that makes you kind of develop not so, let's basically say, simple, um, is if you just are a boy and you just have a brother. It, I... He's, he says everybody knows that, and that's why nobody talks about it. But to me, I thought that was fairly insightful. I did. I was very proud of myself. It took me to a couple of years shy of 50 to notice it. But then I started looking up all of these, you know, uh, very intelligent men. And they were either rarely only children. Uh, but if they had siblings, it seemed like they always had a sister. Um, and I never read of, you know, someone who had, like, just one sibling and it was a brother. So uh, <laughs> everyone who, who who's a guy and only has a brother is like, so I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm just saying when you played He-Man, you just bashed He-Man together uh, against Skeletor and then you dropped Skeletor a couple, a couple bashings later. Um, but anyway, uh, I liked it. I, I'm really interested. I feel, I like I said, I don't, sometimes I say I like the Bat family. Usually I don't. I like this kind of narrowed down. It, it, we're going to focus on Punchline, Bluebird, her brother, Leslie Tompkins. That's good. I, I'm looking forward to, to that. And then it says it's going to be continued in 2021. I don't know why they're not putting out an issue in uh, December. There's a lot of stuff going on at DC. Uh, it looks like, sadly, my prediction of a super apocalypse in the uh, comic book industry is uh, coming true. And it looks like there's going to be probably one more culling at Marvel uh, before the end of the year. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. And I will have new comic reviews up all this week. Thanks. Bye.